The CDC reports we're in the midst of the second largest COVID-19 surge since the pandemic started. An estimated 100 million Americans will contract it, which adds insult to injury. A recent Senate committee hearing revealed 16 million Americans and 65 million people around the world are living with long COVID. I think a lot of us are aware of things that develop during COVID, like loss of smell or loss of taste, and that can linger and be long COVID. But what we're really talking about is things like brain fog, persistent confusion after having COVID, persistent shortness of breath or coughing, things like that. You can even have mood disturbances, poor sleep patterns, anxiety, a whole range of things that can happen. And the impact can be devastating, as an estimated 4 million Americans are out of work because of it. So you need to pay attention to your risk factors. The severity of the COVID infection itself is, is a key factor. So the worse your COVID episode is, the, the greater the likelihood of developing long COVID. It's not a foregone conclusion. And in fact, some people who had only mild COVID will go on to develop long COVID symptoms. But that's really important. And then when you look at who gets severe COVID, people with comorbidities, things like underlying heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, we know are risk factors. Advanced age is, an also, uh, is also an important risk factor. And so is not being vaccinated. People are almost twice as likely to get long COVID if they're unvaccinated when they have their initial infection. One thing we know about COVID is it's evolving fast. We've seen different waves of this pandemic. We're now in the JN1 variant wave, if you will, which has been particularly severe in terms of its impact on the population. But what you want when people get COVID is the ability to fight it off quickly. It's very hard to prevent COVID. But once you get exposed to COVID, you want to mount a robust immune response. Having a vaccine prior to getting infected primes the immune system so that you can fight it off much quicker and develop much less severe symptoms. Stay up to date at vaccines.gov.